To access information on fecal indicator bacteria levels in Lake St. Clair and the Clinton River, click on the Monitoring Data link via the Data Gateway link. You can look at fecal indicator bacteria levels by sampling date or by sampling location. To view data over time for a specific sampling site, select the sampling site on the map located below the calendar. A pop-up window will appear with the fecal indicator bacteria graph for the selected site. On each axis of the graph there are sliding bars. You can slide the bars up or down to change the scale of the graph. Sliding the bars on the x-axis will change the date range, while sliding the bars on the y-axis increases or decreases the number of organisms per 100 milliliters of water. The graph legend can be used to select or unselect data measurements. For example, select or unselect the MPN undiluted sample category to view the most probable number of E. coli organisms in an undiluted 100 milliliter sample of lake water. To find the definition of each measurement, hover your cursor over each measurement category. To see storm events on the graph, select the Highlight Storm Event Sample box. A yellow line will appear to indicate storm events. By hovering the cursor over a dat data point on the graph, you can view the specific data set for that site. For example, by hovering over the data point for site C2 on August 13, 2012, you can see that our diluted CFU 1 milliliter sample had 900 colony forming units per 100 milliliters of lake water, while the MPN, or most probable number, for our undiluted sample was 980.4 organisms per 100 milliliters of lake water. These numbers differ because the most probable number is a calculated statistical estimate of E. coli organisms in the water, while colony forming units are counted directly from our water samples. Sometimes our water samples have bacteria levels that are too high for our test methods to count accurately. When this happens, the sample and the name of the test will appear under the samples that exceed test threshold section. As you can see, our undiluted colony forming unit sample on August 13th has a TNTC notation, meaning that the bacteria levels are too numerous to count.